phone amplifier uh, using a speaker just like this so it's got most of the components that you need obviously it's got a headphone jack here and this comes from your computer and then it's got a volume and all that kind of stuff and it's in stereo so this is a good place to start for pieces and parts um, then some people say well why didn't you just use this well this doesn't fit in there and it won't fit in my pocket and I wanted this amplifier so when I go skiing and things like that uh, I can have plenty of sound so most of the components come off of here there's a bunch of capacitors and uh, input uh, jacks and things like that an LED I stole off of here I think the integrated circuit also came off of this as well so this is a real good starting point if you have an old set of computer speakers or something the breadboard that I used you can get a Radio Shack and they come uh, as a double or I think actually you can use this as one big one but you can just cut it in half and uh, you just need half of it so the center line here um, is what I used as my quote-unquote ground plane so all the grounding happens on those two bars since they're connected all the way down and then I tried to use a right and a left side and then I just used the extra holes for extra things and uh, we'll try and go through some of those components here real quick I have these two big well let's see if we can focus I have these two big caps here they're two A474 J's and uh, those do the bulk of the work for the circuit. Then I have two smaller caps over here which came off my uh, my card from, from the speakers. I think I had to buy the green ones if I remember right. And these are uh, 470 microfarads at 16 volts. The volume knob here is not actually connected to the board. I needed it loose. Uh, but then all the wires are connected. This is also my power switch, so uh, like on this, when you turn it all the way off, it's the power. So this has a power function as well as the volume. And then this again is a stereo input, and then my LED is here. So that just hooks to one leg of the power circuit with a little resistor in there uh, to keep it from burning too bright. I did have to buy a handful of resistors, different sizes and so forth. This unit is actually wired for two batteries. I didn't know how loud it would be and what I did is I made a, a battery eliminator here so it's just a, a 9 volt plug with the two ends tied together and I can put it on one of those and it just kind of closes the loop where the second battery would go. I think these are wired in series so uh, that just kind of takes up that gap so if you want to do one that's either single or double that's the way to do it just get an extra 9 volt connector and you'll have it the input here is from an iPod the headphones just went bad so I liked the look of it so I used it it was nice and small I lined the bottom of my case just with a piece of paper to keep all the uh, solder points here from hitting the metal and shorting out Here's a quick shot of it all put back together with the battery in there and then my bypass on the other battery. You've got to kind of cut the, uh, oops, sorry about the light guys. you got to cut the corners of these boards off so that the second battery will actually fit in there. It does, but it's nice and snug. So uh, there we go, That when you fire it up there, got the little LED that comes on. So uh, that makes a real nice... Uh, you know when you're looking down in your pockets or something trying to fight, figure out if you left it on there it is I'd love to test it for you but I can't get the microphone on the camera to pick that up uh, with any clarity at all to let you know uh, it just doesn't <laughs> doesn't translate so well but believe me uh, this this cranks them up pretty good if uh, if you're having trouble hearing your headphones I accidentally put an extra hole there I thought I was gonna locate the LED there and uh, so we have our headphones LED and then our volume switch and there's lots of guys who put all kinds of switches and inputs and lights and indicators and you can kind of customize these circuits sort of like I did um, you know with different switches and things like that make it a little bit more boutique and unique but uh, this is a really great little project if you if you want a little headphone amplifier that you can put in your pocket 
I started drawing this circuit and you guys can pause this if you want and take a closer look uh, but mine is a little bit more modified because of the parts that I had in my speakers and uh, anyway there's a lot of circuits out there where I wound up getting in trouble is uh, right here where the op amp is I can't uh, find the values of the resistors and I can't see them well enough without pulling it apart so uh, if you take a look online there are a lot of schematics for the CMOY headphone amplifier or CHUMOY C-H-U-M-O-Y or C-M-O-Y headphone amplifier so you can look that up and make it to your specifications if you're looking for that don't let your meat loaf.